Hello guys, it's me Simu Urahara and in this video we'll talk about why some members of the Wizard didn't return to their previous positions, whether as captains or vice captains. So the answer to this question may not seem easy, even the answer to the question of why some Wizard have accepted to return to their positions, such as Hirako and Kinsey as well as Rose. Because it is interesting how what happened to the Wizard changed a lot their ideology. The Wizards are basically Shinigamis who spent a long time in the city as vice captains and captains and their identity has been linked for years for the sake of the Kute 13 and the Soul Society in general. We saw how Hiraku in the Pendulum flashback speaks with kind of experience that made him to know several captains and made him able to give some advice to Orahara Kiski, the new captain at the time. Or how Yuri had a special relationship with Hikofuni and she didn't easily accept the arrival of Orahara Kiski as the new captain of the 12th division. Why for example Hachigen was the vice captain of the Kiju squad. Meaning that all the visors had some roots and backgrounds in the Soul Society. Whether they feel it or not, but their pride in being a Shinigami was evident in their actions. However, all of this will turn upside down. Aizen's experiences about holification changed the course of the Wizard's life. Rather, it changed their identity from people who were considered themselves as Shinigamis to people classified as a new organization, the Shinigami who have gained the power of Holos. Imagine that yesterday you were a captain and tomorrow you became a person with a new power within you. And if we go back to the first definition that Ishin gave to the Wizard, that they are a group of rogues who obtained the power of the Holos in forbidden ways, we may understand why the members of the Wizard thought of turning away from the Shinigami and even some of them hated them. The most prominent example is Yuri. Since she became a visor, she began to hate the Shinigami. But at the same time, Hirako and the rest knew that even with those misconceptions that the Shinigami had, which were considered unfair, they knew that they are not the ones to be blamed. Rather, it's Aizen Sosuke, who was the reason for their transformation into visor. Therefore, the passing of a century and the visor are hidden in the real world, there is no doubt that it had changed many of their ideas and orientations and it had made them or some of them not prefer to return to their former home, the Soul Society. So after the end of the Arankara arc and the emergence of the truth about Aizen Sosuke and how he was the one responsible for what happened to the Wizard, Kiski and Chisai as well as Yurichi were acquitted of the charges leveled against them. And therefore, even the laws or penalties that would have affected even the visor has been removed. And in a novel, The Death Saved the Strawberry, there are some paragraphs that talk about this. But what we must talk into account is that when the Arankara War ended, Gute 13 had a lot of vacancies, such as the captain of the 3rd, 5th and the 9th divisions. Therefore, Rome 46 had to do something, and with the intervention of Yamamoto, which was one of the reasons for the acquittal of Kiski and the rest, the Rome decided to exempt the Visor as well as give them the possibility to return to their previous positions, and I'm talking here about the squads, as the 3rd and 9th and 5th squad. And in the same novel we read that Hirako had gone to 4th division to see Namori's condition, and that they start talking about Aizen Sosuke, and so some new relationship formed between them, which made Hinamori overcome her previous crisis and work hard as a vice captain of Hiraku, to the extent that Hiraku told her that she needs to get some rest, and her work reminded him of Aizen Sosuke when he was his vice captain, that he was working in the same seriousness. That's for Hiraku and Hinamori. If we're gonna talk about Yuri, the latter did not like the idea of returning to the Soul Site, and so she decided to stay with Hachigen and Lisa as well as Love. Love the latter, according to the novel, did not prefer to return to the Soul Society because he loves reading the Shonen Jump magazine and the magazine is not found <laughs> in the Soul Society. And this is a good chance to mention that the new season of the anime removed the pages of, the, of chapter 481, which should have been in the first episode. The pages talk about Yuri and Lisa with her in the real world and there where Yuri smelled the scent of Shinigami 
which indicated the beginning of the imbalance of the words, so that this same incident will be the basis for several other events related to the intervention of the Visor in the Battle of the Quincy. Because Kiski and Mayuri will ask Yuri and the rest to cooperate with them in order to fix the imbalance of the words. As for Mashiro, and since the beginning, she wanted to be Kinsey's vice captain like before, but she was given a new job related to the magazine headed by Hisagi. However, as we have seen in the anime or the manga, we saw how Mashiro returned to the 9th division as a super vice captain. But one of the things that touched the visor's feelings deeply is what happened in chapter 614 when Yuri and the rest brought the things Kisuke asked them. Yuri, Hachigen and Love as well as Lisa, they come and they are still thinking that they are visored, especially Yuri. Because they are first and foremost and for their personal reasons, they decided not to return to the Soul Society. But Kiski asked them to do something which wasn't normal at all. He told them that he should wear Shihakshu. And this act has a very big symbolism. Yuri was surprised. She who always shouted, I hate Shinigami, is now going to wear that dress that she once carried with joy and pride. So the visor wearing Shihakshu again was an important moment for them. And then we watched their participation in the battle against Girard. And actually, I don't know if Kubo has some ideas for them. Who knows, we can get some fights for them in the third core or in the fourth core. But in the end, guys, as usual, after the end of the war between the Quincy and the Shinigami and the death of some captains like Okitaki, Onohana, as well as Yamamoto, uh, several positions remained empty. And therefore, again, some visor had the chance to go back to their positions. And this time it was Lisa, who promoted to be the captain of the 8th division. And Lisa frankly did not have a reason to stay in the real world because as mentioned in the novel The Death Saved the Strawberry, she was previously visiting the Soul Society and she has a store that sells pornographic magazines. So her return was not something unexpected. Finally, it remains to be noted that those who remain in the real world are Yuri, Love and Hachigen, and Kobo recently stated in one of his answers that all the visors now have the right to go back and go to the Soul Society without the need for the Hell Butterfly. So guys, what do you think about the visor? Tell me what are your ideas about them in the final arc and if we could get some, uh, some new fights for them. Tell me in the comments guys and see you in my next video.